Look at the way circles pack in their densest form. Notice each circle has exactly six neighbors. This is called a hexagonal lattice, and it's how circles pack naturally. So why is this? Well, that's a simple enough question. There are many ways that you can prove this, but they don't give a sense of why hexagons form. You don't get a sense for why there are six. I want you to feel why this is true without numbers. Let's look at how we can try to prove why there are exactly six neighbors. Notice that since we are trying to shove as many circles as possible around one circle, that the surrounding circles touch one another. This means that when we try to place circles, we are necessarily forming triangles. Think about the centers of three circles, the center and two adjacent outer circles. See anything? Well, this is an equilateral triangle, which is just a fancy way of saying that the sides and ankles are equal. We can see why this is true because each circle is the same distance away from both other circles, and we can also determine the side length is twice the radius. This will help a lot in finding why six circles are present. Think about forming triangles with every adjacent pair of outer circles you can. For sake of visuals, there will be six, but let's assume you don't know how many circles there will be. Here, these triangles form a hexagon, but why do they? Why can exactly six fit? Let's look at some angles. You may know that triangles have 180 degrees, or one half rotation. Since equilateral triangles have equal angles, the angles must be one third of the total. Therefore, each angle is 60 degrees, or one sixth rotation. Each triangle has an angle in the center circle. So how many one-sixth rotations can you fit around one full rotation? Six, of course. This is why hexagons form. Since six circles are present, circles lattice in this way. But I left one crucial part of this explanation. Did you catch it? Well, I didn't explain why triangles contain 180 degrees. This is a big part of how triangles form hexagons. There are a few ways that we can show why, and this one I chose because it makes the most sense. Inscribed angles are angles formed by three points on a circle, where the second point is the angle in question. Center angles are similar, but use the center as a middle point. Center angles and inscribed angles have a cool property. The measure of the inscribed angle is half the center angle. This way gives you an idea of how it is true without needing to go into too much detail. Imagine a new circle twice as large, centering it at the point on the inscribed angle. Notice that the inscribed angle is now a center angle of the new circle. Center angles cover an arc of the circle whose length is proportional to the angle and circumference. Let's look at the arcs these angles cover. These arcs look approximately equal, especially for smaller angles. Consider the outer circle's circumference. If you know anything about circles, you know that circumference is equal to 2 times pi times radius. The radius is double for the outer circle, so is the circumference. Therefore, since the arc on the smaller circle is approximately equal on the larger one, the center angle on the smaller circle is approximately double the larger center angle. This is in very loose logic, so pause or rewind if needed. But for the most part, this should help you understand that center angles are double inscribed angles given you're using the same points. This will help in understanding why triangles contain 180 degrees. Now imagine fitting this triangle in a circle. You can see that every pair of edges is now an inscribed angle. Let's create center angles for each one. These angles don't overlap because we are drawing from each point to center. This means we create a full rotation with these center angles. And since inscribed angles are half their center angles, the total angle measure is one half rotation. This explains the half rotation part of the reason six is present. You've most certainly seen a hexagonal packing of circles before. They arise a lot in nature. I wanted to really show why this was true, and how 6 is present, kind of just because of the nature of angles having 3 points. It was very difficult to find a way to explain the reason triangles have 180 degrees that made sense, but I very much enjoyed finding it and explaining and animating this video. There really isn't anyone talking about this. 
kind of amazed me the lack of intuitive explanation. I hope I fixed that, or at least made you interested. There were two Wikipedia articles that were very helpful towards making this video that gave a lot of useful information, so if you're more interested in circle packing, then definitely sneak a look at the links in the description. Thank you for watching. Is this close enough? Or is that close enough? <laughs> Since equal at So how many one sixth rotations can you fat fit around oh, can you fat around? But I left wait, circles no circles this is why hexagon. Since circles oh, This is a Notice that the inscribed angle this will help in understanding why I can try why This means we, we Pack. Mm.